Uh, you know, I think millennials to some extent have a bad rap in the workforce. So what makes Gen Z different? Gen Z is incredibly different. So when you think about this generation, they are between the ages of nine and call it 24 right now, born between 1995 and 2010. And we just did this foundational study, spending time with them, their friends, their parents, employers across the world in Texas and California and New York, down in Atlanta and Asia. And I think what's really interesting is we just did the study, what, last, earlier this year, and they have internalized the impacts of the financial crisis still today. They saw their parents working, working relentlessly hard to see everything taken away from them. They were uprooted from their neighborhoods, had to move, and therefore they have this incredibly pragmatic, conservative view towards personal finances. That's so different from the millennial generation who's characterized as risk-free, carefree, willing to sort of start a company, hoping they're gonna make millions someday. Gen Z is incredibly scrupulous. They are allergic to student debt. They are much more interested in financial security for the future as opposed to sort of short-term rewarding gain today. And so it's just, it's a, it's a very different generation as they're thinking about what they do next, the life choices they make. Well, but good for did, them. Yeah, it's, it's already impressive. <laughs> yeah. uh, how, how do these different habits manifest in, in spending habits? How's their relationship with, with money compared to other generations? Yeah, it's a good question. And I want to flip that a little bit because I think what's interesting is how their relationship to money impacts their spending habits. So think about these financial anxieties that they have. What that means is they're always seeking a clear return on their investment. Um, a clear value from what they send. Gone are the days of sort of opaque value. I think this is particularly interesting for banks and financial institutions. They want to know upfront what they're signing up for, what the fees are gonna be. I mean, this is a, this is a generation that, you know, is, is the prepaid debit cards are on the rise. Um, they're opting to have their salaries on those because they understand the fee structure. They're not accumulating as much debt and credit debt. Um, so I think it's you know a huge implication for financial services firms, but also when you think about their spending habits when it comes to general consumerism at large, they're anti, anti reckless consumerism. And I think there's a lot of companies that are going to feel the impacts of this. The whole fast fashion industry. This is a this is an in, you know a generation that doesn't want to buy something, use it a couple away, they buy used things, they resell their things, they're about shared ownership models. So I think there's a lot of implications for sort of corporations at large that we're sort of going to see as this generation continues to sort of increase and amass their spending power.